Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. We are out here on the launch pad. Well, sort of. We're in a simulation. But we're going to see if this thing will actually work now. I think I've made enough uh, changes and improvements and did some fuel tweaking and tucked some more liquid hydrogen every single place I could find a space to tuck it. And I think I have a working prototype. So this is the Space Shuttle Truth and Reason. And we're going to take a maiden simulated flight. Fire up our two J2s. They are lit. And then our eight Minutemen solid rocket motors, which are going to be the bulk of what's getting us up and off the pad. Now, uh, a few changes from the last version. This whole uh, drop tank is no longer shielded, which should save us a whole lot of weight. I also tucked liquid hydrogen in almost every single nook and cranny I could find and made sure that both of these engines were the upgraded J2s and not the standard J2s, which is why this inside engine was always failing. Uh, it was a good, good thing to figure that out. But uh, anyway, uh, the rest of it is pretty much unchanged. I've changed up some of the RCS thruster design and it's entirely too bright to take a look at anything. And so, we're just going to hopefully ride this up <laughs> and see how well it can perform. So, uh, I won't bore you with all of the drudgery of watching what is going to be an extremely slow ascent. I will just jump in to talk about the important things. Like how hard this is to control. <laughs> this thing flies terribly seriously, if you've downloaded the uh, crafts file from my Dropbox, linked in the description box. This thing is not fun to fly. It is a lot of work. It requires a lot of attention. And away they go. Yes, the super fun part of this is balancing fuel load. <laughs> All right, and let's just roll. Get ourselves right side up, relatively speaking. We've got seven minutes to go until our periapsis and we start falling, but let's ditch the external tank. Away it goes. And kick in our OMS thrusters. Uh, again, these are still two of the Lunar Module Ascent engines, as you can see here. And they're not doing a whole hell of a lot currently because we're still very heavy. So what we're going to do is just lay on the H key and uh, use our thrusters to assist because we actually do have quite a cluster of some pretty powerful RCS thrusters. Now this is the part that takes literally 10 minutes so I'm not going to make you watch it I am hopefully going to just do this in this very beautiful scene here because this is absolutely amazing well, enjoy
and it's an orbit 165 by 778 that is officially an orbit but why you say well <laughs> here's the good news we do have uh, a bunch of fuel left over those solar panels aren't going to do us a whole lot of good and ah dang it we are actually able to deliver a very small comsat I think we do have much more weight capacity than this, considering how much fuel we have left over. Uh, let me see if I can't bring some of that up. Oh, yeah. Well, here's what also we're going to do. Okay, move you out of the way. Out, out. Uh, it's not a lot, but it's enough to shift our center of mass to make uh, re-entering a little more pleasant, perhaps... We'll probably shift it back. There's another tank here that will probably be better suited for. But wow, it actually did it. It actually did it. All right. So just to say that EVAs aren't pointless, we're going to get uh, Bill out here, and he's going to climb back here in the cargo bay. And try to do some orbital things. Uh, force open. Oh, that collided with stuff. We might not want to do that. Oh well. It's open. It worked. I cannot believe this thing works. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, can we leave him out here while we change back to the ship? Yes. And uh, decouple. Boink. Oh, that's him. This must be our satellite. Yep. So we're going to unlock. Oh, uh, we can't. I am really dumb. All right, Bill, you have another job to do. I don't know if this is Bill or Bob. But we need to boot the satellite. Because I forgot to unlock its things. Before unhooking it. So... If you could extend those panels, please, sir. Thank you. Now we'll try to switch to it. Can we... Nope, we still do not have a connection. That's odd. We've got electric charge. Out of power. Uh, without being able to store the electric charge. I should have cut this part out. You can analyze the telemetry can only be controlled by a scientist. Well, it's a good thing you're an engineer, sir. Uh, unfortunately, we can't run off just that. We need a battery. It has to go through the battery. All right. Get back in there. Nothing else you can do for this poor thing. Oh, these controls are so awkward sometimes. Board. Grab. Board. <laughs> Successful spacey walk. Yeah, no connection. This is... That thing has power. Yeah, it's generating massive amounts of power. Okay, well, it's a good thing this was only a simulation. And not a real mission, or I would be kind of upset. See if we can't jettison that thing from the cargo bay. Perhaps. Is it stuck? It is, in fact, stuck. <laughs> well, that's nice. All right. Well, maybe next time we'll be testing the re-entry capabilities of this poor thing, because that is, as of yet, completely... 
Okay, good. We got the satellite free. I don't want it to go too far. Maybe there's a chance. I doubt it, but maybe. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a pretty cool shot, I have to say. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I know it was just a simulation, but I'm really stoked. We have our 1960s space shuttle about half proven. That thing's making me nervous now. We're going to hit it. It's going to, it's going to hit us. Yeah, it sucks. doesn't work anyway. All right. Thanks again, everybody. I will see you next time.